<laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Um, here's the Sisto Senso 2 working on the ED127. And I've been learning all the quirks about it. And what you'll see in this video is when I lose power of 12 volts, it goes to different focus ranges. So here we go. Enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, I just finished calibrating my uh, Prime Luigi Lab, and once you log in, you pick your COM port. Um, as you can see right here, it's port 3 for me on my Windows. And if you do hook it up, it may be slow to respond to any commands. It's because the baud rate is set at 9600. What you want to do is set the baud rate under Device Manager for the COM port of 3 here. As for me, you want to make sure you set the baud rate for 57600. Faster baud rate means the focuser will respond much quicker to um, when you go clicking around on your windows or your phone. So, so it's all the way back to zero. I'll show you. As you can see, it's set at zero. Well, that's my spacing right there that I had set it for for, for the zero all the way in. Okay, as you can see right there, you can set the position of your focuser. So I'm going to go all the way there. I'm at zero right now. I'm going to set it all the way out. And I'm going to hit go. 36 degrees outside. And um, this Prime Lucci Lab uh, robotic focuser is doing a good job on these one-of-a-kind ED127 here model. Um, I did get it to fit. You can read my YouTube channel community tab, how I did it. I do exercise caution, and you do so to make it fit. As you can see, it's still there and it's still working. And you'll see it go all the way to zero. I, ha I have it stopped at five millimeters from a zero because you never know if you get a this thing decides to go crazy, but I always leave a gap at uh, five millimeters before zero and after four, 40 millimeters. Okay, from the focus manager, I'll close it. Ta-da. It's closed. Then just hit X. Okay, what I got here, I'm setting up for uh, a wide shot of IC410, and I'm going to do, let's say, I'm just going to do 50 exposures at an F8 at ISO 3200. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. But as you can see here, it looks it looks pretty good, not bad for a... Uh, Just having just two two narrowband colors of HA and oxygen. So once I get my uh, uh, SHO collected, I should be done. I'm just collecting about an hour's worth, maybe. It's it's a work in progress. It's coming along, and you know, I see a lot of people try to get that detail, and that's what I've been focusing on right here is along the tadpoles. So I want to get all the details out of that. Oh, I just hit the clear and reset. Let's see, 72. Um, back at this. Hit clear. Let's see what it looks like. And, oh, let's check my DSLR for Backyard EOS. Go full screen on this. And this is what my DSLR looks like. This is going to look cool once I stack a whole bunch of these. I'm back on, uh, there's my SH2. Okay, so back on frame number five, sulfur. I'll stretch high. There you go. 991 stars. Half flux radius of 2.51. I'm happy with that. And let's see if my guiding has improved. Uh, wow, at one second. 
It's very windy out there. Very windy and cold. Uh, my guiding's at a point eight two. Focus on uh, what's it called? The tadpole nibble. I see four ten. And let's go to SG Pro and let's see. I have a half flux radius of 260. Stars found 992. Oh, yeah, right? So if we look over here, let's go to the history for this since I just started. Image history detail for my sulfur. 260, 260, uh, first started out with a 306 though, but I managed to uh, get focus okay with my uh, Prima Lucci version 2, Sesto Sinsto. Let me almost stretch that high. Hey, look at that. So, it's coming along. Put that to medium and it just fit that to screen. And there is my sulfur. This will complete my project for the uh, uh, doing SHO. Okay. What's the temperature? Uh, 21 degrees Fahrenheit or so. I don't know if you guys can see that. 21 degrees Fahrenheit. And I just opened up the roof and what I'm doing right now, I'm doing a calibration. You all see that? And I just finished doing the initial calibration. Now I want it to go back to zero. And what I got going on tonight to do, weather permits by the gods, I got a clear night, just so happens, just now. Um, I'm doing my calibrations on uh, my Sesto Senso 2. I calibrated twice every night because um, the first time I plug it into 12 volts, it goes into the 100,000 mark, and then it goes into the 56,000 range of focus. So. You can see it moving there, and once that's done, I'll start my SG Pro. Yeah. Okay, we are all set to go. I don't know what target I'm gonna do tonight, but we'll see what we'll get because it is a clear night. You can see the moon there. Uh, tonight's starting temperature at 7 p.m. Um, is 29 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if you can see that, but. Let's go.